Banks are not usually associated with sustainable energy. But in Lucknow, India, a regional rural bank is proving that solar energy is not just good for the planet, but good for business too. By becoming the first mainstream bank in India to offer photovoltaic power systems along with credit facilities to its customers. Naresh Joshi, the head of Aryavart Gramin Bank, wanted his branches to avoid the inevitable power cuts and install photovoltaic panels as a backup. The self-sufficiency of his branches when the grid failed inspired him with another idea. When I was moving around our branches, visiting them late hours, and coming back to Lucknow, I found that the villages all along the road are in total darkness. The lack of grid electricity is not just a burden for rural customers, but holds back their chance of a better living. Mr. Joshi realized that the same photovoltaic panels used by his bank's branches could provide four extra hours or more of light for its rural customers. Mr. Joshi approached Tata BP Solar to get hold of the technology. And that light makes all the difference, you know. It was the most important thing for a father who was a farmer working whole day in the field. When he came back home, this was one of the things he wanted that he should give to his son so that he can read. Aryavart Gramin Bank had the customer base and the purchasing power to spread the technology to Indian farmers. When the first bank displayed its solar light, the villagers spread the news. People were curious. People from surrounding villages, they used to come and stand here to look at the lamp, how it is burning beautifully with the solar power. The system is cheap to run, but expensive to buy. So Naresh Joshi mobilized the bank's resources to provide affordable loans and run credit camps where customers can sign up for a loan to buy a lighting system. About a thousand people were expected to sign up for the solar home system at this camp. In fact, twice that many signed up. This was a large investment for some farmers, but they began saving on kerosene immediately. The systems normally cost 14,500 rupees, that's 170 pounds, but Mr. Joshi struck a deal to reduce it to 13,500 rupees, 160 pounds. A deposit of 2,500 rupees, 30 pounds, by the householders means they can take out a loan from the bank over five years. In fact, they only pay 222 rupees, 2 pounds 60, per month. A solar system makes it possible for anyone running a business to stay open longer, so the local economy benefits. I used to use the old kerosene light before. Now with the solar light, I can work longer and get more income as business has flourished. The kerosene lamp affected my eyes. The local photographer has been able to diversify from taking portraits. Now I can offer photo printing services and burn CDs. It's increased my income and I'm making other plans. When I have no customers, I can watch TV. I feel it's great with the amount of light after dusk. The children study and it's made our life more healthy as I can cook properly in the house and keep things tidy and clean. The solar boom is providing local employment opportunities and a training scheme encourages young people to go into the solar business. Thanks to the bank's business model, around 8,000 units are already changing lives. Today, even a small newspaper is not available in a village. They are now connected with the world. The number of Indian households that could benefit from a solar home system is vast, and Aryavart Gramin Bank could offer a model for making the technology mainstream. <laughs>